Hey everybody, welcome back to Fluency. We're on story number 18, the case of the trapped tramp. In this story, uh, there's a pretty good mystery. We're gonna start though by fluency practice. We're gonna start with echo reading. Remember echo reading means you reading right after me, trying to have your vo voice echo or sound like mine. I'm going to pay close attention to the phrases. I'm going to pause slightly at commas, a little longer at periods, make my voice sound like a question at a question mark, and be excited if I see an exclamation point. Okay, get ready. Look over at your partner. Give him a little wink and a smile, and here we go. The Case of the Trapped Tramp. I really hate to interrupt your evening, but I have a problem at the store. My clerk, Tom, just called. He said he surprised a tramp in the back room of the shop. He was stuffing money into his pockets as fast as he could. Tom hit him over the head with a board. Is it all right if I pick you up? We'll ride downtown to the store together. Course, Sam replied. Sam had known the caller, Jim Hodge, for years. As much as he hated to miss watching his favorite TV show, he was glad to help his old friend. When Sam and Jim arrived at the shop, the tramp was still on the floor. Tom, the clerk, was explaining that he was lucky to have caught the thief. Sam bent over the tramp and examined him His pockets were empty. There was no identification. There was nothing. Sam looked at Tom and said, Turn over the money, Tom. Why did you make up the story? How did Sam know that Tom lied? Man, look at that poor guy on the floor with stars around his head. He's the tramp, which in this story is like a synonym for thief. All right, great job, echo reading. Give yourself a little pat on the back. We're gonna continue with fluency practice and do some choral reading. Remember, choral reading means you reading with me. The case of the trapped tramp. I really hate to interrupt your evening, but I have a problem at, at the store. My clerk, Tom, just called. He said he surprised a tramp in the back room of the shop. He was stuffing money into his pockets as fast as he could. Tom hit him over the head with a board. Is it all right if I pick you up? We'll ride downtown to the store together. Of course, Sam replied. Sam had known the caller, Jim Hodge, for years. 
As much as he hated to miss watching his favorite TV show, he was glad to help his old friend. When Sam and Jim arrived at the shop, the tramp was still on the floor. Tom, the clerk, was explaining that he was lucky to have caught the thief. Sam bent over the tramp and examined him. His pockets were empty. There was no identification. There was nothing. Sam looked at Tom and said, Turn over the money, Tom. Why did you make up the story? How did Sam know that Tom lied? Awesome job, Coral Reading. Give your partner a little high five. Now we're going to switch gears from fluency practice and we're going to think like a detective and especially a reading detective and look back through the story for the clues. Okay. At any time while I'm reading the questions, if you need to pause it to talk and discuss with your partner, you can do that. Number one, how did Sam know that Tom lied? Why do you think Tom made up the story? Who called Sam for help? What was Sam doing when the phone rang? Where was the tramp when Sam and his friend arrived at the shop? What did Tom say he did to the tramp? Does the story mention how badly the tramp is hurt? Who was Tom? Does the story say where the tramp got the money that he was stuffing in his pockets? What do you guess about the back room? Do you think that Tom will finally Tell the truth. What do you think will happen to the tramp? Okay, way to go. Thinking and reading like a detective. We're gonna go back and we're gonna, you're gonna go back and reread the case of the trapped tramp a couple more times. Um, I would like you to turn your back to your partner and you're gonna whisper read the case of the trapped tramp one more time all the way through to yourself. Then you're gonna turn to your partner and you're gonna read aloud the case of the trapped tramp to them and you're gonna listen to them read it aloud to you. And good job, everybody. I'll see you next week.